Hi everybody and big welcome to CDH TV with a competitive gameplay video of its own kind. I don't think I've seen anyone do this before that me, Jorlen, Anis and Pontus are going to showcase for you. In some previous gameplay videos I've been able to do some first person views but now you are going to see four people's hands continuously and from time to time hear their thought process and some reactions to how the board state develops. So let's have people showcase their own hands and kick off the match. I'm here with Paco Haldan. Uh, don't like this hand, so we're gonna take a mulligan. I really like this hand. We have a we're the starting players who don't get to utilize the gemstone cabinets, that is a bit sad. But we do have a soldering, we have an underworld breach, we don't have a color of red. Now we could actually keep this hand because of the soldering, but I think I want to mulligan this hand just to be extra safe. So we're going down to six. You know what, we're, we're rushing out Paco, that's an all-in strategy, going down to 5. And I think I'm gonna stop here. Uh, we're gonna toss away Gemstone Caverns and Fasas Oracle. And it's a really terrible hand, but I really don't want to go down to 4. So we're hoping for a top, good top deck and some really good luck here. Yeah, maybe we can get some Paco in play eventually anyway, so we'll see. Yeah, the opening hand is amazing. Um, we have a uh, ramp, uh, we have a way to fight Hermit Druid, and we can cast Sweet Boy went out to turn 3, depending if we draw lands or any more fast mana. Uh, this hand's fantastic, and I'm super happy. Alright, um, this is my first 7. A bit iffy, I only have one land. But I do have a Birds of Paradise and a Carpet of Flowers, and if I draw into a land, I think I'm set when it comes to ramp. And then I have some utility, I have an Eldritch Revolution, uh, I have some removal, and I'm just trying to make my way up to these bad boys over here, because that's will be some really big stack. And I think from there it should be pretty easy to win the game. Okay, uh, so this is my 6. Uh, I'm not completely sold on it, but it's fine. <laughs> it, it, it does have quite... <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> okay, so my hand is fine. Uh, it contains the carpet and the Topaz Sprawl, and Mox up the Lines and I'm in. I will bottom the Mana Drain, because I might draw a blue card for Force Negation. Uh, but it's kind of medium, I could have gone lower, but I'm a bit greedy, I guess. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Alright, I'm starting off, I'm drawing a card. I'm gonna put this Volcanic Island into play, and that's it, I'm uh, passing the turn. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card. I'm going to the Yabamaya Coast, then uh, pay one life and tap it for a green to cast an Elvish Mystic. And I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to take my turn. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play this Windswept Teeth. I am going to crack it, taking a damage, and then I'm just going to buy you. And I'm going to tap said buy you, play a Birds of Paradise. And then I'm going to pass my turn. Land for turn will be a Taiga. I'll tap said Taiga for a Carpet of Flowers. Uh, I'll go to my post combat main phase, activate carpet, targeting mons, make a green, which I'll use to cast a Utopia Sprawl on my Taiga, naming blue. Then I'll cast a Mox Opal and a Paradise Mantle and a Lion's Eye Diamond. Here's my inexperience with playing with green, and I just realized after watching Pontus play, I, what I could have done instead of this was I could have played my Carpet of Flowers, made a green off that, and then play my Birds of Paradise off that. And that's just like a slight mistake. I just don't play with green enough. Then I'll cast a Rograk. I use my Mox Opal to equip Paradise Mantle on him and pass the turn. I'm gonna draw a card for the turn, put this Verdant Catacomb into play, sacrifice it for a Taiga, and tap both of these two for a Sylvan Library. Pass the turn. I will play a Seth of Coliseum. I'm gonna tap Yavimaya for a green to cast a Carpet of Flowers. I'm gonna tap Elvish Mystic and to cast a Wind Tender. And in my second main phase, I will add a green and cast a Royal Druid. And then I will pass the turn. We're ramping up here, so pretty much next turn we're gonna go at the end of, or beginning of my, before I start my next turn, we're gonna Core Calling for Hermit Druid, then we'll cast uh, Will Knock, and then we have uh, Veil Summer Protection to win the game, hopefully. I'm gonna draw a card, gonna play this Taiga, tap said Taiga for my own Carpet Flower. What is this? I'm literally feeding like everyone's carpet right now. And then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make out blue off the carpet. And I'm gonna tap this bayou. I'm gonna tap my birds of paradise. And then I'm gonna play an Arcanum Maria. 
Yeah, and if that's alright, I'll pass my turn after that. Land for turn will be a snow card first. Go to post combat main phase, carpet trigger, target mons for blue, tap a green. You're welcome. Take all the mana. Casting a Thrasios. And then I'm passing. I'm gonna untap and I'm gonna go to card draw and draw a card with my Sylvan Library. I'm going to pay 8 life for all of the cards. Then we're gonna put the land into play tapped like this Cephalid Colosseum and uh, pass. Okay. No, I'm one short for be able to cast from my hand. Uh, uh, so we're just gonna pass and then we're gonna quarter calling at the uh, end of uh, months next turn. I'm gonna play this gemstone caverns as a land for turn. Tap four five. I'm gonna use a carpet to generate one. I'm gonna slam down this wandering archaic. I am uh, passing on the wandering archaic. I pass as well. If nothing else, I will pass my turn. The plan is working. I have my Archon of Amiria down, so that's a rule of law effect slowing down everybody. And then if someone by some chance sneaks something in, I'll have a Wandering Archaic triggering off somebody else. Now that I'm in a fairly safe position, uh, I'm mostly, I'm probably just going to cast Eleven and just keep hitting with her and accrue some card advantage. And right now we're just digging for pod so we can start podding things and then win the Kiki. In your end step, I'll activate Thrasios by tapping one, two, three, four mana. So resolve my scry. I'll put that on the bottom of my library and then uh, reveal a Ancient Tomb into play. Draw. Uh, land for turn will be a command tower. So I'll go to post combat main phase. Uh, carpet trigger. Make a blue from once. Tap three more. Take two damage. To activate Thrasios. Scry. Uh, I'll keep that. Reveal a Mox Diamond. Or Mox Amber, rather. And cast that as my spell for turn. And then pass. I just realized something I am done. I can't win with the Archon in place. So I'm going to have to deal with that or wait for someone to deal with that. And then, uh, but the nice thing with the quarter calling is we basically just win on the spot. Untap draw well we are going to put oh. two of them back and we're gonna sadly make everyone really happy right now and put this triumph into play it's an island guys you're welcome Woo! thanks man then i'm gonna cast an arcane signet and i'm gonna pass the turn i'll draw a card um i'll play a mana card for this tap um i'll add two green through carpet of flowers and i'll play this on the library and i will pass the turn play this burning catacomb i'm gonna crack it and i'm gonna grab an underground sea i'm gonna tap this gemstone this taiga and this no yeah i'm gonna create two off the carpet of flowers two green then i'm gonna tap my gemstone cavern and i'm going to play a eldritch evolution sacrificing my birds of paradise what do you think you get here i don't know it's a seems if one creature he is access to Three lots of less. colors dog is really big here but i don't think he uses dog that effectively i don't think that either it's a new deck I actually never seen him play this i actually have don't uh, it seems like a stacks deck here yeah by the way yeah but um like he can't play anything else that's true that's true yeah but i think he wins through through uh through rule of law so to say i mean with creature combo something i could probably lead with the thrasus activation either way yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna do anything. You you do whatever you wanna do. So in response, I'll activate Thrasios. Two, three, four mana. Uh, that's interesting, but not interesting enough. So Dramatic Reversal is really interesting here because it allows me to force an negation, which I could have paid for instead, but I didn't think it was, wor was worth it. But I think, even in this situation, I will let this resolve if I don't draw a free counter, but that's really low. Okay, uh, I'll put that on bottom. Uh, put this Calling Tarn into play. That. Go ahead. So I could use force of will to counterspell this and I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm really scared what that could be the thing is I actually feel really behind and I, I think I'd rather have these guys who are really far ahead fight it out between each other a while because I don't think they're gonna come against me for a while so I think we're gonna keep the force of will and hope he doesn't win with this I don't think he'll win I'm actually a bit uncertain um, because I played the Eldritch Revolution um, and where I sacrificed the Birds of Paradise so I can get anything from CMC 3 or below I I have a couple options. One of them is Ranger Captain, just to have another fairly powerful stacks effect on the board. And then off the tutor, grab an Esper Sentinel. Another one that I like is Sanctum Prelate, putting it on one, make sure no one can play a Chain of Vapor or something like that. And that's sort of what I'm leaning towards right now, because I could do Dog Side. I don't really need Dog Side right now. Doesn't really do anything. Thought it doesn't really do anything. Opposition Agent doesn't really do a lot. And I think the starting, like making sure my board stay, stays the way it is is the plan right now. I pass priority. All right, I'm gonna go fetch a creature. Surprise us. Uh, Sanctum Prelate. As it enters, I'm going to choose two. Actually, no, I'm gonna choose one. But uh, Prelate is on one right now. 
And if that's good, I'll pass my turn. Yeah, on one is fine for me. If he said two, I would have been very, very upset. Um, but yeah, I think now the plan is just going to be next turn we'll cast our commander. On uh, the end step, we'll cast our druid, and then we'll win off the uh, passive draw after that. Yeah, I'm really happy about that sanction prelate. It's spot on what I wanted to happen. He doesn't win. That's perfect. And he's fighting between the other two. I'm not really affected by this, so yeah, I'm happy. So I'll take my turn. Okay, land for turn will be in ta tapped Artemisa, and then I will pass the turn. <laughs> Take an untap and draw more cards. Take eight life here. I'm gonna tap out five mana. Paco Haldan. Yay! All right, I'm gonna go to combat. Pontus, you seem dangerous. Paco attack at, uh, Paco is attacking at you. Paco attack trigger. Mana drain from me. Missy mortars for me. So there were one creature. He becomes a six six. Pontus. Yeah, I'll block with the rogue rack. But active thrust just before damage. Sure. Scry, I'll put that on bottom and reveal a arcane signet. And then Rogue Rack dies. And then I uh, put this land into play, tapped, shelter ticket, and I pass. To uh, Silver Land Richard. Uh, we'll take all the three and take game life. That's the spirit. Sorry, I'm gonna cast my commander and pass the turn. Alright, moving to my turn. I'm gonna untap and draw. I'll play this City of Brass as Lumpter. And then I'm going to. What's the island count right now? Is it two? Yeah, I'm contributing two. And you're the only one who has islands. Oh, Anna says now, but yeah. Um, I'm going to create two blue off that. Tap this tiger. I'm going to tap the bayou. And I'm going to play 11 the mage. Come on. I'm going to move to combat and I'm going to swing these two at Pontus. <laughs> Why did I get focused from nowhere? Because you have the most life. I gotta, guess, sure. You're going to start working on that. Uh, I take six. Cool. I will pass my turn. It's not cool. Uh, in your end step, I'll tap four. Thanks, Vitasius. Scry, bottom, reveal a lot. Battle. Wow, can fetch as well. I'll find the breeding pool and put my turn. Untap draw, I have only mana. Uh, carpet trigger, I'll target the monks. I'll cast the, I'll cast the, I'll cast the cane signet uh, for those two mana. Tap one to equip paradise mantle on Thrasius and then I'll pass turn. Untap everything and draw a card and draw two more cards because of the student library. I'm putting two back on top of the light. I'm gonna play land drop, bounders, and clave. Then I'm gonna cast Haldan. I wanna go to combat. Paco is attacking at Jordan this time. Okay. You have a silver library. I'm exiling my Windswept Heath. Laboratory Maniac. That's some nice hit. I am going to pass the turn after this. Uh, and your turn, I would like to cast for calling for two. So this is kind of scary. I I can't interact because I've already casted a spell. And this, please, I'll activate Brassos in response to that my that's taking two damage. Um, so scry, uh, that's close, <laughs> but no. Great, it's getting Hermit Druid. Uh, I'll still put this card on bottom. Draw a Polymorph. I will pass some Corv Calling. Grab a Hermit Druid and then attempt to go to my turn. Still in uh, Mons and uh for a turn, I would like to cast Abrupt Decay targeting your Hermit Druid. Uh, yeah, that happened. My hero. Wait, no, no, Silver Library first. We will take one extra card. Alright, uh, with the two uh, carpet on the screen, and I'll cast Eternal Witness, get it back from the tree. And I will pass the turn. I'll move to my turn. I'm gonna move to combat right off the bat, Pontos. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you with 11, and. What else can I hit you with? And the Archon, so for a total of five. So I'm gonna play a light and I'm gonna draw a card. I'll take five. Play this Morphic Pool. It's my turn. I'm gonna make two white of the Scarpet Flowers. And then I'm gonna tap my Taiga and I'm gonna play Mike. Thunderpass. That's good. I will pass my turn. In your end step, I'll fetch. Uh, finding a tapped Stevens. And then I will tap two, three, four, Titan Thrasses. Scry, bottom, reveal a Bloodstained Mire into play. And then I'll go to my turn. Go off turn. Uh, trigger card, but you've seen the polymorph. Yes, the polymorph targeting fast, yes. Uh, I would like to trigger my Wandering Archaic on your polymorph. I don't actually see any big problem with that, so yeah, sure. I'll have my copy target Mike. I'm not sure what I'm gonna get out of this, but it should be fun. You can also polymorph Paco. He doesn't have that many hits, I think. Let let him <laughs> polymorph Mike here, okay? <laughs> let him let him do him, okay, Pontus. Let him play his game here. 
I am so happy he polymorphed Mike and not my Paco here. I could have lost the entire game. I'm playing Paco Divergent as you know. If I flip into Fasas, I can't win. If I flip into Leveler, I'm dead. I'm also so happy Pontus didn't cost polymorph on my Paco here. I'll take a polymorph. I'll start polymorph. In response to your polymorph, because I don't know what you're gonna get, you could get something that is stopping you from doing this. I don't know. Your stack stack there. I'm gonna cost a mana drain targeting Pontus polymorph, so Pontus doesn't get his cool breaker horror here. Bad manners. So I, I still get my polymorph. Yeah, you get yours. I just don't want Pontus to get his. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll start polymorphing them. It's just flip off the top, right? Got Trinus Bear, got a Scrubland, Felidar Guardian. Um, Felidar Guardian ETB, Exile 11, and then have her come back. And then I'm good. Yeah, that's my spell for the turn, so I'll pass. I have four mana from the mana drain. I'm gonna use three of those, one green here, and cast a Pierce Whim. All of you have to sacrifice a n artifact or enchantment, and I get to search out for a land, a non-basic lull. I'm gonna search out and find Bosei who shelters all. Then I want to move to combat, if that's okay. I think I'm smacking uh, at Pontus here. Paco attack trigger. Oh, I really would fall. Paco grows to a 13-13. And I take 13. I have done everything I can do this turn, except playing a land. I'm playing this gemstone cavern, so passing the turn. Uh, the zone, Interesting. Okay, so Jurotas is really cool. Now he has some options. I, I'm gonna just take the uh, take one card. Put it back in that order. We'll play Ancient Tomb Taft. I wish all my lands didn't hurt me. I think I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, I'm gonna attack Pontus with uh, my commander. Great choice. And then trigger his ability, so I'll mill the top three. Uh, Felwar Stone, Endurance, and Gilded Drake. And then I think I'm going to cast Gilded Drake and take a Paco. I am going to force of will that, paying extra for Annis, because I actually have a feeling Annis might want the Paco to change position, and we're pitching a brain freeze to it. Yeah, I can't do anything else, so I will pass it through. I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna, just gonna straight up move to combat. Uh, Mons, here you are fine, you can live in your little hole there. I'll, Mons, I'll hit you with 11, I'll also hit you with this one, okay, why not? Pontus can take two off the Archon of Ameria, and I have a attack trigger, so that's okay. Cool, I will draw a card, damage as well. I'm blocking 11 with my Haldan and then taking four. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass from here. In your end step, I'd like to be Um There, that's great. Uh, hmm, no, put that on the bottom. Oh, draw a Pact of Negation. And then Thrasius again. Scry, uh, put them bottom. Real Blasphemous Act. I think Paco dies exactly to your Blasphemous Act here. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Yeah, go to my turn. Scry of Emergency. Use the two mana from Carpet and tap two more. Take three Thrasius. Scry, bottom, reveal a Risky Study. And then Thrasius again. Oops, that's not. Scry, bottom, reveal a Solve Decoration. And then I'll tap one red for blasphemous act not paying for our cake i have a response to that i'm gonna tap three mana here and cast my frantic search i am also not paying for our cake so you get a frantic search my friend oh nice nice all right uh i will draw two cards and i'll discard two and i will untap any of my last yeah that's a boss set okay good <laughs> boom Big boom. I can play more spells. I'll cast the Reload Battle. I'll fetch. Now I'm at two. Uh, so I can pretty much never activate <laughs> Ancient Tomb. Uh, but I think colors are more worth it. I find the Volcanic Island. Three mana. Cast this here Rhystic Study. And with that, I will pass. I will take my turn. I'll tap everything. And a Sylvan Library. Drawing two extra. That is awesome. Here's a war room. I'm, uh, of course, paying eight life because I'm not scared of you guys. <laughs> not at all. First thing first, red elemental blast, paying extra, destroying your rhystic study, Pontus. That's just rude. I know. Uh, yeah, I can't protect that. Then I want to cast my rhystic study. <laughs> That's even ruder. Um. I know. <laughs> And then I want to tap this, play a wild growth on air, volcanic island. And then I want to pass the turn. Okay, I'm tap. I think I'm just going to take one card here. Um, we're going to cast a jewel bonus. Uh, we're going to crack it right away. Um, you can draw. I will draw a card. No, I, I will draw a card. Can I draw as well? No. Crack that for uh, blue. Oh, okay, uh, I'll add three green. Um, so I'll cast my commander. Uh, I'll pay for the Rhystic and cast a Hermit Druid, then I will pass the turn. 
Alright, so I have Veil of Summer and now I have Luster Storm back up. So I just have to basically, if I can have her return survive this, I can spare and I'll win next turn. Yep, I'm gonna play as already. Wrist sticks that a trigger. Drop in the diamond, I'm gonna tap 6 and play 11 and you can draw off that. Yep, and if that's alright, I will pass my turn. Go to my turn. So carpet trigger, so 2 mana. Oh, I'm a cheater, I had to tap my agent too. So I cast my commander. Because I'll cast Thrograck with the two mana. You can draw. I will draw a card. You got it. Three mana. Cast the Soul the Equation. You can draw. I will draw again. I have no response to Soul the Equation. I'll put the Relic Scramble into my hand. Two, three, four. Cast Relic Scramble, targeting Rograk. I have a response to the trigger of Ristic Study. Okay. I'm gonna tap this Float a Green and cast a Stickle Tutor. I can have an answer to that, actually. Alright. Cast the Velo Summer, paying an extra. How much mana do you have? Plus three. 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 Cool. I'm gonna cast the Plus Shock target the Velo Summer. No, 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 wait, Anis, target the Real no, Scramble. Yeah, I'll target the yeah. No, 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 I want to force you to get, uh, otherwise you can No, but just... there's, I I might not be able to do it either, because if he pays for the Ristic, for the Ristic study, I don't draw the card for Mystical Tutor. No, but you're, you're, you're responding to the Ristic trigger right now, right? Yes, but the thing is, how magic rules work is, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm responding, then he gets the option to pay. Here's how a lot of people actually misunderstand Ristic study. If someone pays, no, doesn't pay, and you're gonna get a card draw, you can't respond to that, you're drawing the card, you're not allowed to cast a tutor like this. You have to cast it before yeah, you stick that. Yeah, true, true. Uh, yeah, I'll just go for the reality scramble then. That's rude. Uh, four copies or five copies? Would be reality scramble, will of summer, musical tutor, right? Uh, solve the equation, rogue rack. So, oh yeah, that's that's a lot of copies. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's getting. Can I draw a card from your Fluss of Storm? You should pay. So, no, I can't. That's why I played the Soul Ring and stuff like that. Cause... I'll draw a card. So Real Scam Scramble is countered. Then Veil Summer. That resolves. I draw. And then we have uh, Mystical Tutor. It resolves. Uh, I'm actually going to grab a Force of Negation just to be safe. I'm not super certain what you're doing for here. Uh, and then we're back to Square Zero, right? No, you, you can draw the Force of Negation. Okay, I draw a Force of Negation. So normally you use Mystical Tutor to find Divert and Transformation, and you win! The pr problem here is that we already have Fasa's Oracle in our hand. We could still win with the Divert and Transformation if we cast Fasa, and then in response cast Divergent and find Leveler. Leveler removes the entire library, and I win with Fasa. So I could win here, literally if I take Divergent, but I think it's safer to just grab Force of Negation here. I don't know if Ponce is gonna recast the Reality Scramble, and honestly looking at the board, looking at the life total, I could probably just swing for the win with my Paku soon here. Yeah, so the, this was really close to working out, but here I am exactly short, so I can I can resolve it here. I can resolve a Real Scramble here with the land I drew, the casts Chromox, but I can never win this turn because I'm one mana short, whichever way I do it. I was also kind of close to using the mana drain to get the mana to win, but then I missed the colors. So I think the right play for me here is to kind of greed out and cast a and cast it, exiling probably mana drain the Chromox, but there's a lot of risk involved in doing this. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, so I'll cast a Chromox. You can draw. <laughs> That's an amazing draw! Lightning Bolt! Pontus is gonna die! It's safe to say, after this board wipe, the game's gone to absolute shit. And I'm not really sure how we're gonna stabilize here. It's kind of a bit difficult to do this with no board before. But I don't know, maybe like dog side and a wheel. I did just a lot of things that have to go right for me to come back into this game, but we'll see. So two Chromox, I'll exile Mana Dream. Then I'll tap four, discarding a land to cast Relic Scramble, targeting Progress. You can drop. I'm gonna tap this for red. I'm gonna bolt your face! <laughs> Well, uh, next with black and blue. <laughs> so in response to lightning bolt, I will cast pact negation. Oh, ha 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 ha! Well, I, uh, yeah, you're still suffering. You're still affected by the veil of summer, so I, yeah. I don't have anything here. I'm gonna let the pact of negation resolve, putting my lightning bolt on the grave. I'm gonna pay two life to cast Nox to survival, putting lightning bolt back on top of my library where it's very convenient to have it. Then I have no further responses so far, until triggers happens. Actually, uh, my mana base says, don't worry about it, Pontus, it's remembered. Yeah, like I'm just dead to you having that. No, the thing is, I don't have red, I don't, I don't have any more red mana here. Yeah, but I, I don't have the win. Okay, then, then worry a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so real scramble will resolve, I'll put Hallbreaker Horror into play, and pass the turn. 
Awesome. I'm gonna untap, draw a card. I'm gonna draw two more. Uh, we don't wanna take any damage at all. We're putting them in the back there. I do think I wanna give Pontus a bolt to his face though, before anything else. Just let this happen first. No response. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Paco is making a comeback. I'm going to combat Paco is attacking at Anis. Uh, Paco attack trigger, Veil of Summer. Uh, Fluster Storm. There were no creatures, so he goes up to a 6-6. Six, six. And I will pass the turn here. Okay, one tap. I'll add two green to Carpet Flowers. Activate Hermit Druid. I have no response to, uh, to your Hermit Druid activation. Okay, I'll mill my entire library. That's is horrible. I have a response to your Festus Oracle. I have a grave that it contains 10 or more cards. I have a Cephalid Coliseum. I want you to draw three cards, then discard three cards. Um, hmm. Murder! Okay, so all these cards are at Frog Exile. All these cards are currently in my graveyard. And then I'm casting Endurance, so all my spells go back into my library. Okay, I am going to evoke Endurance. Uh, pitching a Land of War Elves. I have a Rhystic Set of Trigger. Uh, you may draw a card. And I'm going to target myself. I have no effects. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to resolve my Thassa's Oracle Trigger. So look at the top three. I can... I don't even know what this thing does. Uh, okay, that's resolved. Alright, so now we are going to go into casting a bunch of things. Alright, we'll play a Chrome Mox, exiling a Traumatize, Monsi can draw. Uh, we'll play an LED, uh, Monsi can draw. Uh, we'll play a Mox Amber, Monsi can draw. Uh, we'll tap Yabba Maya for a colorless to cast Soul Ring, and Monsi can draw again. I'm gonna tap a green and cast Veil of Summer right now. I'll float a colorless with Soul Ring. I'm going to cast Force of Negation, pitching a Ponder, counterspelling your Veil of Summer. Trying to. Yeah, that results. I'm gonna crack our Lion's Eye Diamond for 3 blue and cast uh, Spellseeker. Uh, you can draw. I have no response to Spellseeker. Um, I will get a Windsor Review. I'm gonna tap Chromox for a blue and get. Uh, I'm gonna f pay 2 and float a colorless to cast a Cephalid Illusionist. Uh, you may draw. I have no response, I I do see the win. Okay, with the one colorless floating, I'm going to play Mana Vault. Yeah, you can draw. I'm going to tap Mana Vault for a green monolith, so down to one, go up to four colorless. Pay two to cast an Arcane Signet, uh, you may draw. Pay two to cast Lightning Greaves. Triggered on Lightning Greaves. You may draw. I draw a card. I have a response to your Lightning Greaves, you've been giving me so many amazing cards, I'm gonna cast a Submerge targeting your Cephalid's Illusionist, or yeah, that guy, without paying mana for it. This is gonna put him on top of your library. On top of my library. I'm down to zero mana, I think that might do it, um, I don't think I can respond to that. Alright, yeah, that'll bounce my, uh... <laughs> Alright, so I got one blue, um, I'll cast a, um, Secret War. Uh, you may draw. And I think I have to pass it to an uncle. Alright guys, we might actually win this one. We have the win on our turn without Divergent in our hand. We're just gonna hope Anis doesn't win or stacks us out here. I'll move to my turn. I'll move to combat. Mons, I'll hit you. Draw a card. I have no effects. I take three. I'm gonna tap two black. Play a Dalty Woodwalk. Top of gear for paying for risk. Then I'll pass. I'm going to go to my turn. Untap everything. Draw a card. I'm up at 19 cards currently. And then we're gonna draw two more cards. But we're gonna put two cards back on top of a library here. There we go. I'm gonna begin with combat. Paco is attacking at Anis. Paco yep. attack trigger. I'm flipping into a wooded foothills. Got a land. Oh, it's not an illusion, sorry. And we're one creature in that, so he grows to a 5. He's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Mountain, land drop. I'm gonna cast a Fassa's Oracle. Floating a green mana here. Fassa's is on the stack. Passing. Fassa hits the floor. There's a trigger on the stack. I would like to respond to the trigger by casting Divergent Transformation, making it uncounterable, going down to free life, and using the last mana I had here from the this one. Targeting my my Fassa Oracle and your Fassa's Oracle, Jordan. Uh, this resolves. It's uncounterable. I'm gonna flip the top card of my library, a leveler, uh, that I actually drew with the Sylvan library, but I put it back 
Collector, uh, which is gonna remove my entire library from the game. I have zero cards in my library, and fastest Oracle trigger is on the top of the stack. Yeah, can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Right, GG's! Yay, we won the game! Amazing stuff! Thank you so much for watching, that was awesome! Really grindy, uh, the Lightning Bolt play there was amazing, I'm really happy I got to kill Pontus. I love it when I get to kill Pontus. Uh, we were a bit lucky Jordan didn't get there, we drew so many cards, I think Rhystic Slider was really key trying to control Jordan there. We drew a submerge and the Force of Negation was really good to help stopping him from winning. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like what I do and you wanna support me, feel free to share my video videos or even checking out my Patreon page. Also, purchasing cards from the TCG Players website using the affiliate link in the description below of the video will also help the channel grow. So a big thank you to all of you.